This is our short revision clip from the business department at Bloomgowrie High School. This time we're focusing on information legislation. This video will be useful for those studying higher and national five business management and higher and national five admin and IT. The clip will look at laws, which are pieces of legislation that protect information businesses hold. We will look in particular at three main laws the Data Protection Act, the Computer Misuse Act, and the Freedom of Information Act. If we begin by looking first of all at the Data Protection Act, why does it exist? Why was it made? It exists in the UK to protect information a business holds on both their customers and on their employees whether that's done electronically or on paper. There are eight parts to the Data Protection Act and these are known as the eight principles. A re really easy way to remember these is with the word sparkle with an extra O added in. So, if we therefore begin to consider the principles themselves. All information should be kept safe and securely by the business. All information must be used for the purpose which was initially given. All information must be accurate and up to date with no errors or mistakes. The business must understand the rights of the data subject to see their own information. The information must be kept for no longer than necessary. It must be obtained or gathered lawfully, legally and fairly. The amount or length of data that's kept must not be excessive or over the top. And information cannot be taken outside of the EU, the European Union, without the data subject permission. The Computer Misuse Act. Why does it exist? It makes it illegal in the UK to do three things. The three main offences. One, to spread viruses with the intent or the intention of modifying, changing or deleting computer data. Number two, to hack, to gain unauthorised access to files or data. And number three, to create software or hardware which will allow people to spread viruses or hack that. If we then move on to consider the Freedom of Information Act, this means that all public sector organisations, schools, hospitals, any government departments must supply any reasonable data or information when it's requested by the public or other organisations. A good example, hospitals being forced to give their financial information to a journalist. There are a few exemptions, the police, the military and the intelligence services MI5 who do not have to provide all information which is requested in order to maintain security for our country. When you consider these three pieces of law legislation, there are three important considerations for any assessments or the final exam. Be prepared to describe features or characteristics, these mean facts about the legislation which this video is covered. You should also make sure you always use the word act, for example saying data protection on its own will not get you the marks. And there's also another video on employment legislation 